Hey, what's good with the Black Goose TV family? Double salute as always. It's your boy, Fluence Boxing. I'm back at it again, and I got some Fluence Boxing news for y'all family, man. Y'all already know what time it is, man. There's a lot of Deontay Wilder topics to be discussed because, as we know, the Bronze Bomber is officially back. Y'all can check out the video I dropped on that yesterday. Excuse the audio issues. Never again would that happen, but he's going to be returning in October against Robert Hellenius. A lot of people are amped. A lot of people are excited, including myself. Um, I got a lot of videos that I'm going to be dropping uh, just covering Deontay Wilder, period, because he's making his rounds right now. Um, but with all that being said, I do want to go ahead and put this out here when it comes to this particular topic or it comes to this particular boxing news that I'm going to be talking to the family about. One of the things a lot of us was talking, questioning, speculating, uh, uh, just basically trying to figure out was, will Deontay Wilder return after the two brutal losses he had against Tyson Fury, right? And one of the, 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 the topic of conversations, one of the main arguments, one of the back and forth that you saw in the boxing community that I saw on my own channel uh, was what is the reasoning? What is the motivation? Why should Deontay Wilder come back? Like, like he, he's good. He has the money. He has the bread. He has a statue in his own hometown. He's getting his flowers before it's too late. Like, why would he come back? What fight is there that will makes sense for him to come out of retirement and take the fight like what is the trajectory that he's looking at or hoping to accomplish when technically he kind of already he kind of already accomplished it all you know what i'm saying and that, that me personally that was one of the things i was trying to figure out i was like okay i think deontay wilder will come back but at the same time i don't think he will because why would he right but one of the things that i've been uh very very uh what i've been what i've been vocalizing a lot you know what i'm saying i've been very vocal about as of late is okay now i'm starting to see the opening of why deontay wilder can start saying hey i think i do want to come back and this is gonna i'm kind of gonna be you know beating a dead horse so i'm gonna be repeating myself depending on how many videos you watch it's your first video it's the first time y'all hearing me uh say this but the heavyweight division is back on fire similar to you know four years ago when uh, it, we had the three-headed monster and Joshua Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. When it was like, oh, we got to see these guys fight. We got to see these guys fight. And then we had the few and far between. But um, the heavyweight division was just on fire four or five years ago because of the illusion or because of, you know, the, the air of, okay, what if Deontay Wilder fights AJ? What if AJ fights Tyson Fury? Like, we, we wanted to see these fights because we felt like those were the three best heavyweights where obviously we end up getting the tyson fury uh wilder trilogy and that kind of settled down the heavyweight division also aj took a couple of losses which also settled down the heavyweight division where everything kind of got evened out and now it's like you're looking at it it's like well okay tyson fury and deontay wilder seem like they're the top dogs in the sense of popularity paying attention money why would wilder come back after basically being at that pinnacle of the heavyweight division heavyweight era of our era what is the point for him to come back? What, why, why? You know what I'm saying? You can also say the same thing for Tyson Fury, right? Now, there is a reason. What is that reason? I've been saying it. I'm not going to beat a dead horse. Like I said, I'm going to make this quick. I'm going to get into the nitty gritty of this article. But there is something, in my opinion, that is happening right now in the heavyweight division. It can be almost looked at as if it's a heavyweight tournament. Wilder's coming back against Robert Hellenius. Luis Ortiz versus Andy Ruiz is happening in September. Anthony Joshua versus Usyk 2 is happening this weekend. Joe Joyce versus Joseph Parker is happening. Tyson Fury is trying to make him versus Derek Chisora happening. So the way I see it is like, well, it almost seems as if we're at this, we're at this place where Tyson Fury took a step back. Deontay Wilder, you know, took some time off. Where now it almost seems like, oh, shit. The heavyweight division is booming again. We have all these different guys, all these different fighters, all these different contenders. It's not just about Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, and AJ anymore. So because of that shift, which could be strategic in the fact of Wilder staying out, Tyson Fury only taking the, D the Dillian White fight after Deontay Wilder fight, kind of letting AJ and Usyk have the, the prime, you know what I'm saying, spotlight for a little bit. And then Joshua and Joseph Parker doing it. Excuse me, uh, Joe Joyce and Joseph Parker now coming into the picture. Now Andy Ruiz and Luis Ortiz coming to the picture. Like it almost seems strategic to an extent, but it makes sense for Deontay Wilder to say, "Hey, okay, yeah, I see a reason to come back. There's motivation there. I would love to fight Luis Ortiz again. Or if Luis Ortiz loses to Andy Ruiz, I would love to fight Andy Ruiz. That's a 
big money fight in the States. Wilder versus Andy Ruiz is big pay-per-view money. Then you look on the other side of the stream of the pond. AJ Usyk, three. Say AJ beats Usyk is big money fight. Say Usyk beats AJ. Think about the winner of Joseph Parker versus Joe Joyce fighting Usyk. Now, AJ doesn't have a dancing partner. Think about the winner of Tyson Fury versus Derek Chisora fighting AJ. So now we have all these different you know, scenarios that we can talk about where it makes the heavyweight division exciting again. Money flowing, popularity, eyes on the motherfucking weight class. This is the perfect time for Wilder to come back. This is the perfect time for Tyson Fury to call out Derek Chisar. So now with all that being said, I'm basically bringing this in full circle to say, Deontay Wilder plans to fight till age of 40. The comeback was hard, but it was my decision. Or you can look at it as saying the comeback was a hard decision. Either way, we have Deontay Wilder now claiming before where he was like, I don't know if I'm going to come back. I'm good. I'm set for life. Now he's saying, I want to fight till I'm 40. Now, do you think he just has some kind of a in his head and he's like, I can't stop this shit? Yeah, that probably happened. But I also think that was accompanied by looking at the heavyweight division and seeing like, yo, this shit is stacked. I can have some great fights in this division and they can not be against a Tyson Fury, an AJ, or a Usyk. There's other people I can fight, like a Luis Ortiz again, like an Andy Ruiz, like a Joseph Parker, like a Joe Joyce, right? That's what I'm saying. So let's get into the nitty gritty of this article. Before I do, man, make sure y'all hit the like button below. Right next to the like button is the subscribe button. You hit the subscribe button. Roll to 5K. For the end of the year, man, I really want to hit that 5K, man, for real, for real, man. Let's keep growing. Show some love. Comment on this joint. Get me in the algorithm so not just you are watching it, but your friends can watch it as well. You know what I'm saying? Help your boy get into the algorithm. Uh, show some love. Now, with that being said, let's get into the nitty gritty of this article. Let's see if they got anything that we are aware of when it comes to Deontay Wilder and his plans when it comes to the future of boxing. So. Uh, it's coming from Boxing.com. Deontay Wilder will return to the ring one year after suffering a second career loss to Tyson Fury against the former heavyweight champion, uh, against Tyson Fury, who's the former heavyweight champion. He takes on Robert Hellenius at Barclay Center October 15th. The decision for the former WBC heavyweight champion to announce his return was a drawn-out one uh, that featured plenty of contemplation. Although Wilder endured brutal fights and knockouts against Fury, the bronze bobber believes he still has plenty left to give to boxing. I know I'm great, Wilder told Kenneth. And Michael Rosenthal on the PBC podcast. I have three, maybe four years left, and then I'm completely done. I've done great with my finances. I make more money outside the ring than inside the ring. To even get in the ring, I need to have a certain minimum. It feels good to make a decision about when and what you want to do. I'm not coming back to the sport because I need to, and it's a great feeling to be on the opposite side because most of the time, other boxers need the money. The devastating knockout artist will turn 37 years old one week after the Lenius fight said he disconnected from boxing during his break. I didn't at all keep up with anything in the sport. My wife goes to the fights and watches way more than I do. When I'm away, I'm away. I go missing in action on purpose. I'm a renaissance man. I'm more than just boxing. I'm more than just an athlete. At the end of the day, I knew that I had to come back because I motivate, inspire so many around the world. So here I am. I am very excited to come back to Brooklyn and continue to present my greatness to the world. I've been enjoying myself with my family, kids, and loved ones. It was a hard decision of coming back. What should I do? Basically, what I wanted to do. Now I'm here. I got the blessing from my family, and basically, that's all I need. Now I'm ready to inspire and motivate. You're looking at a guy who has it all, and I say that with a smile. So, uh, that, 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 that really, you know, I'm a big Wilder fan. Like, I'm not going to hide it. You guys know it. If you guys have been fans or family members of this motherfucking channel for a long time, you know, I'm a big Wilder fan. Zen's way bigger of a fan of Wilder than I am. I'm a lot more objective when it comes to Wilder, but at the end of the day, uh, a spirit like Wilder, what he's done for the sport. I'm really happy to see him back. I can't wait. Um, we got reaction videos dropping uh, uh, as well tonight. I'm reacting to Deontay Wilder. I'm so excited to go over those, man, man. Nothing but respect, love, appreciation for, for a great man when it comes to Wilder, man. So um, I can't wait to see him back in the ring, him fighting until the age of 40. I'm nothing but in full support because I think in the next three to four years, we're definitely going to see some 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 amazing fights in the heavyweight division. And then I think it's going to die off for a little bit because we're in, a, we're in the mecca of the heavyweight division right now. We're really blessed uh to be watching boxing right now and how great the heavyweight division is so um let me know what you guys think about this personally how you feel about the video how do you feel about everything i said do you disagree with anything you know i, I might be fanboying a little bit about deontay water but you know you're such a we're gonna 10 years from now we're gonna look back at this era and we won't be able to talk about tyson fury but without wilder we won't be able to talk about wilder without tyson fury AJ without Tyson Fury, Usyk, like all these guys are going to be legendary when it comes to the heavyweight division. The same way we look at the George Foremans, Evander Holyfields, uh, the Klitschko's, uh, the Mike Tyson's, Muhammad, like they're, they're going to be in that same category. So it's like I'm really trying to appreciate 
and greatness when it comes to all this that's happening because shit can move so quickly. So with that being said, let me know what you guys think about this video. Hit the like button if you're fucking with it. Subscribe to the motherfucking channel if you're not part of the family. It don't make no sense because a lot of y'all be watching and y'all subscribe. So show your boy some love because bro to 5K. We on the way. Y'all already know what it is, man. As always, our sports nigga side of the game. Look, I'll be back, but with more boxing. Stay blessed, not stress. Much love to the people, man. Stay up. Don't let nobody come and kill your